Hey guys, hope everybody's doing all right. Today I wanted to do a quick product review on this Alps Outdoors turkey hunting vest. With our Indiana season coming up here towards the end of this month, I just wanted to give you a quick product review on this, give you an idea of what I thought about it. Before I made my decision on which turkey hunting vest to go with, I did a lot of product review uh, research on YouTube channels as well as reading on forums before I decided to go with this Alps Outdoors uh, vest. So just want to give you my thoughts on it and hopefully help someone else that might be looking into it as well. So now we'll go ahead and take a look at all the various pockets on this Alps Outdoors turkey hunting vest. On the top here on my right hand side is a zipper with a mesh compartment inside. And on this I just put my crow locator call. Moving on down it's a large compartment here and this is for cell phones. You'll notice on the inside flap is a clear protective case to keep dirt and debris out of your cell phone. You, you can just slide your phone in right behind this clear protective case. And as well as on the inside of this pocket are four more loops that you could put some shells here, uh, some additional strikers or just anything that you want to utilize these for to keep things secure and in place. Over here, you got a nice uh, bungee strap with a bungee cord looped around here for carrying a water bottle. Got one on the left side as well. Moving on down to the bottom. This is a good spot for another locator call. This is where I keep my alcohol. Just slides right in there, fits perfect. And this has a nice cinch strap. Pull this up, slide that down, that keeps your locator call in place. And then this has a bungee strap here that just connects into this loop. Snaps right in there. Real easy to get in and out of. And here is your chest strap. Just undo that. You'll see here on the inside is a good size mesh compartment with the exact same thing on the other side. And then starting up top on this side is a compartment. I don't know if you can see in there or not, but this is where I keep additional shotgun shells. There's a loop system in here that holds five, and then I just have some more tossed down in the bottom. That way you always have plenty of additional shells with you. And you'll see here two perfect size pockets for slate calls. Got one there, and then the same thing right here in this compartment. And towards the inside of this, this nice vertical compartment is where you'll keep your strikers. I just have one in here for now, but I typically do have all three spots full. So you can carry three strikers there, and you'll notice a stretchy kind of mesh compartment here. You can stick some additional sandpaper down in there for your slates. And then on the outside of these slate calls, you can put some more sandpaper, put diaphragms there, just whatever you need to. Now moving on to the back, you've got a nice thick seat cushion here it has a couple different buckles on each side to secure this in typically i would just leave those buckles loosened and then you can see here it's attached by mag magnets right here pretty sturdy you can see how thick that seat cushion is and then one of the nicest things about this turkey hunting vest is the kickstand so you can see the legs here they just fold right out. So whenever you get to your spot, you just kick these out. 
and then this, the legs on each side are fully adjustable. Depending on the slope of the train that you're going to be setting up on, uh, you can move those in and out. And it's just got a quick throw over latch. And once you throw that lock over, it's locked securely into position wherever you need it to be at. And then here, you got a spot to, I typically throw my decoy in here, carry the decoy in. As you can see, it passes all the way through. Carry the decoy in there, then hopefully, once you uh, harvest a bird, then you can throw your tom right in there, or just keep your decoy in there and carry the bird out of the woods. Then up here on your shoulder, there's a piece of 550 cord that's strapped to this loop on your shoulder strap and this is just a nice little extra case for your diaphragm calls you can stack three diaphragms in here i typically do not use this i just use the clear case that the diaphragms typically come in i typically just use one of the pouches up here just because there's so much extra storage up here in this in this little plastic case is sometimes kind of hard to get to once you're setting on the ground it's just a lot easier for me to utilize one of these pouches down here. But that's personal preference and up to you. So on the back here, you'll see the Alps Outdoors logo. And then inside here, if you want to utilize this, there's a pull out orange flap. Just to let other hunters know that you are a turkey hunter and you're not a turkey. And right here's another pouch and you can just slide a water bladder right down inside of here. Pretty handy little setup. So for me and so far, this has been a great turkey hunting vest. I've only used it for one season, which was all of last season, but I did use it on some coyote hunts this year. Uh, it's easy to throw an electronic predator call in the back here. You've got your kickstand set up. You got your seat pad to just plop down against a tree or use the kickstand system. And then various pockets here for your e-call uh, controller but for me this is a great turkey hunting vest suits my needs and what I need in the woods and I think it would be great for you guys as well so if you guys want to just go ahead and subscribe follow along I'm going to put a link to this product down below which is actually my website and in that website you'll actually have a link to where you can purchase this turkey hunting vest so if you don't mind go ahead and click subscribe follow along and I'm going to be taking you guys to the turkey hunting woods with me and hopefully get some good quality footage of a turkey kill. So as always, happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys.